This week's episode takes us from the lovely village of Renbury, westwards across the Shropshire countryside, to the town of Whitchurch. There's some real narrow stretches along this canal. The reeds are taking over, I think. And we're crawling along because of the uh, flow of water from the River Dee ahead into the reservoir behind us. Well, that's okay, we don't care. But the um, lift bridges take me back to when I was a kid uh, on the canals when we did this canal. I was actually 10 when we came along this canal back in 1971. And uh, in those days, you had a chain to hang on to to lift the bridges up. These days, you've either got to use your windlass and wind them up, or uh, they're electric powered. We've had breakfast, uh, eggs on toast, and in the farm shop round the corner, they had black pudding. Now, I miss black pudding, and they were vegetarian. And, uh, American viewers might wonder what black pudding is. You probably don't want to know. It's uh, awful, <laughs> mixed with blood, pig's blood, and made into a sausage. And it's delicious. It is very it's nice. Not, it was yeah. only a few years ago that I had it for the first time because I never liked the thought of it. But when you taste it, it really is lovely. Um, but anyway, they had vegetarian black pudding, which. Uh, bit of an oxymoron I suppose but um, is that the right word oxymoron yes it is the right word yes. not bad. Yes. and uh, won the scrabble game yesterday <laughs> I won the scrabble game and uh, it's very nice as well too lovely wasn't it, it was lovely and I think the thing about black pudding is it's the spices that give it some of the flavor that's it and they're the same and it's got beetroot I think to give it the color and the texture, texture. but it was very good so yeah something a little bit different winds in my eyes I can't stop crying so we're just doing a couple of miles today just to uh, move to a village called Marbury um, apparently it's very pleasant and uh, got a nice church and some mears which are natural lakes aren't they I think yeah they, okay, yes I think they are and there's some lovely walks up there as well yeah. they're looking at the back some really nice footpaths so it's Saturday today we've got the paper we've half done the crossword when we're more up, I think we're going to have a lazy day, aren't we? Lazy weekend with maybe a couple of nice walks. The weather looks like it's come back to sort of summer. Oh, I'm no. still in my coat, but it is much better. Um, look at the hedgerow, the flowers are beautiful. Oh, look. Can't you get through, Jess? Oh, Archie. Slow down. Go on, Jess. <laughs> Took some figuring out, didn't it? Watch that ditch. On it. <laughs> so we're off for a walk to Marbury, it's a village a mile or so away. We're going the circuitous route around some lakes or mears as they're called and uh, it's beautiful, absolutely stunning day. It, it is lovely so I think we're going to test your anchor out. It's going to be about four miles I think all in all isn't it? Something a big like circle that, yeah. and back along the canal. Um, just got to make the most of it. Oh, we've so. come off the canal, boy is it busy down there today. Um, we've got to the lock and uh, l at least four or five boats are queuing up to go one way or the other, aren't they? Yeah. So uh, we're we'll, staying, put, we're put, staying today. put today. <laughs> and I think it's just going to get busier as the uh, week 
weeks progress. It does seem okay for mooring though, because we moor out in the middle of nowhere, the moorings near the villages or towns are busy. Um, and you went for a cycle ride last night and they were all sit people were sitting out on the towpath with yeah. picnic uh, barbecues and chairs. But because we're in the middle of nowhere, there's loads of places to moor And you can here. moor up anywhere along here. Yeah. It's uh, dead easy, it's really good. Yeah. So we're still finding our peace and quiet, aren't we? We are. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Come on, you, out of there. Archie, come on. Get in trouble. It's Wednesday the 13th and we've just gonna move about a mile and a half. We've got to fill up with water and get rid of the rubbish. And uh, to do that, we've gotta go through six locks and three of which are the Grindley Brook staircase flight. So that's three locks in a row without any pound in the middle. But fortunately, there's volunteers up there uh, to help us get through. So minimum effort required. To London and uh, then down to Brighton and visiting family and see our little granddaughter as well. It was good, wasn't it? It's, it was lovely to see everybody. As you know, you know, we've all not been able to see family for so long. Um, but it's ironic that we sold the house so that for the first time in a long, long while, neither of us owned bricks and mortar. And then we spent the next three like <laughs> next three nights on land. <laughs> <laughs> Bricks and mortar. <laughs> but um, it was lovely to catch up. It's even lovelier to be back in the peace and quiet again, it is. isn't it? it is. So, so we had a lot of fun whilst we were down uh, in Brighton. We took the opportunity to go and meet a YouTuber that um, we've been following for some while, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. And uh, his channel's Richard Vobes, that's his name, Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. And we've been following him for some time now, haven't we? Enjoying his videos, uh, exploring the uh, 
nature and history of uh, Britain. And uh, here he is, a little bit of video of us meeting him. What are we doing, friend? Well, we're down in Br Dan. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See what's like. We are down in Brighton for the weekend to visit family, London, then Brighton. And we've been invited to go on a walk, yes. haven't we? With um, a lovely man and a lovely lady called Richard Vobes and the very lovely Julia, who have their own YouTube channel and vlog and blog and podcast, everything, uh, yeah. podcast. Um, we've been following them for about a year now. Absolutely great channel. And Richard is taking us for a walk. And I'm also filming. That's this. fine. <laughs> you said such lovely things. They are lovely things, but you're a lovely person. You're a lovely pair. Oh. There's Julia. And, and there's uh, the lovely Julia. And the even lovelier Joseph. And the lovely Joseph. Mm -hmm. So Richard, Richard's channel, well, you tell us. What's your channel? Um, well, I do the Bald Explorer. Yeah. Uh, for reasons that may be obvious, <laughs> I'm bald. And I, it's, uh, yeah, what is the channel about? Mostly it's walking. I explore um, England. I've got a passion for England and I'm based in the, based in the southeast, down on the coast. Uh, so everywhere's north. But the channel, yeah, it's really about, it, it's a daily channel. That's I do 10 minutes every day. The lovely Julia comes out with me. I can drag her out. And we'll go exploring landscape, heritage, heritage and nature. Yeah, landscape, but you get nature. real taste of really. You're looking for what England really yes, is, aren't yes. you? As well, and that the perhaps the hidden and the unseen bits that, yeah. that you miss when you're in city life. And absolutely. And it's. I mean, I I I put myself down as a traditionalist, so it's it's sort of lost England as much as as I can find. And there is bits, you know. Obviously, <laughs> if we're up on the downs, and it's fantastic. But I think there's there's England that we're not aware that we've lost yeah, absolutely. a lot of the pasture and the wildflowers um, and all of that which I think people who are in their well millennials who see it now perhaps it's, it's like being in the digital world and not knowing what the analog world is like yeah and I think that yeah. traditional world is very analog the old yeah. fashioned ways but we you see on the canals we are a little bit we've got a little bit more of that I think you, yeah we've, we've retained a little bit more of that history and Definitely. I mean, that whole ro roving lifestyle that you have going from pillar to post yeah. and, and being on, on the canals, it's an industrial system that now is a little bit industrial because you have the coal boats, don't you? Yeah, they're still the coal, the, they're just bringing coal to the boaters. Yes. But yeah, the coal boats are doing quite, quite historic boats coming up and down. Yeah. It's brilliant. But, but um, yeah, and then you've got lots of pleasure boats. But, yeah. you, but people, it's a it's a fascinating thing because you've got people like you that live on the boats and then you've got people like us who've been as a holiday although it wasn't really a holiday because we, <laughs> we were filming, we were filming. <laughs> um, who are there to experience it yeah and then i imagine like everybody goes oh i wonder how much a boat costs yeah. <laughs> like but richard's channel richard and julia do fantastic videos and it's one of our go-to when we've had enough of the boat for a day and we want to sit and watch something, we'll watch you because it's just oh. so lovely and we get a different aspect of things. And the show, the live show, is just such a scream. It's <laughs> just so funny. It's a hit and miss so, show, isn't it? <laughs> but we'll put some links below to your channel and oh, your show and everything. So I recommend you take a look. It's, it's real good fun and really informative, really interesting. And uh, they, yeah, they're a good team. We'll have to do some good ones now, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> no. But Put for today, we're on. your guests and you're taking us on the yes. walk. Love. So, and exploring this little bit of Sussex. And we're also walking oh, with our daughter, Claire. <laughs> say hello, Claire. Hi. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <laughs> you enjoyed that and please take a look at Richard's channel the link down below and it's coming across the screen now it's one of our uh, go-to channels where we want to sit down and watch something in the evenings or a rainy day isn't it yeah, Him and it is. a few other often non-canal boat related channels just to get us you know 
away not from the so narrow-minded <laughs> <laughs> to know that there is life still out there and a lot of it but uh, yeah it'd be lovely if you have a look and uh, subscribe if you like yeah. it and uh, we're just uh, we got back when did we get back, Fran? It's all a bit last of a blur. Night. Last we night, got we got last back last night, but today we've had to then return the car, which meant another train journey, well, and train, uh, this this face mask business and everything oh. is not good. You can't, it's, you get all hot and bothered, don't you? You, you you're so. trying to read, read the news on your phone and your glasses are steaming up. It's, uh, <laughs> anyway, it could be worse. So we're just moving a couple of miles today. Um, heading towards another couple who are YouTubers and uh, this time they are narrowboaters and it's someone that probably many of you will know if not um, again you might like to have a look at their channel and subscribe so I think there might be a little bit of gin involved yeah, but if that's, that's not that's, too much of a hint that's next week's episode so you just have to wait <laughs> to see who it is but I'm sure those of you who know uh, we're on the Klangothlin Canal they're on the Klangothlin Canal so it doesn't take much working out if you know who else is uh, narrowboated on the Klangoth Linker now. You're getting good at saying that now, aren't you? <laughs> right, let's go for it. Crank it. to earth a little bit now after our exciting news on the last episode <laughs> and uh, there's still lots of phone calls going on backwards and forwards to the boat builders um, and we're hoping to be able to give you a little bit of an update very soon on what's happening um, I had so many responses from you thank you very much yeah it's been amazing it's been one of the most popular videos we've ever done uh, I think initially people were hoping that we were leaving the network. I think they were. <laughs> Got a bit of peace and quiet from my incessant talking, apparently. Who <laughs> <laughs> say such a thing? And um, <laughs> yeah, so the boat, it's uh, <clears throat> moved into undercover now. It's been shot blasted, so it's down to the bare metal. Then it's going to have um, its first primer coat on. So um, we're hoping to get down in the next week or two and have a look, see how the progress is going. But uh, not having a car, it's not going to be easy, is it? So We were actually a bit nervous about announcing that we're going to get a new boat. Having sung the, song, sung the praises of this boat for so long, we thought we might get a few more comments about don't get rid of Constanza, don't do it. But um, on the contrary, Everybody seems so excited about the uh, prospect of watching the build of the new boat as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Um, we, and we will show you as much as we can, bearing in mind we're not going to be right on top of the boatyard and it means we've got to hire a car and also we don't want to drive them mad. We'd rather they spend their time working on the boat. <laughs> So thanks very much for watching and if you've enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe. If you want notification of when the next video is up just press the bell button and of course follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And hopefully next time we'll have a little bit of footage of the boat build um, to keep you up to date with what's happening. Yep yeah, so catch us next time. See you. Bye. Cheers now. Bye. <laughs>